Maiden of the Greenwood asks, is it possible to put a blank screen with text before the video starts rather than having the text over the video? If so, can you give me instructions? We sure can, Maiden of the Greenwood. Here's your tutorial. Check this out. So let's put a background in, then our text on top, and then bring the video in. Now, a lot of times, I've done a previous video on this, but a lot of times people don't see this. There's a little blue arrow over here beside the T. And you click that blue arrow, and it's going to pop out a menu. And now you got a whole brand new menu here. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to select color boards. And you can select whatever color you want to put in the background of the video. So I can put this one here. I'll select black, for example, and I'll put it on the first line. Now, that's only five or six seconds or whatever. If you put your mouse over top of the edge, and you'll see the two arrows there, hold your mouse button down, and now I can stretch it to where I want it. So, for example, there's a minute and 56. So now I'm going to go to my text. By clicking T at the top left. So we're going to go to the title room. Grab my default text. I'm going to bring it down to the second line. And before I even enter there. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put my arrows over top of that. And drag it out. And you'll notice the line is red. If you open this up full screen. And then bring it over. You'll notice the line will change blue. When it's lined up. See that? Red is no good because I want them both lined up. So you just kind of drag it when I get the blue line, release, and now I know both are lined up the same way. You also notice if I click on the color board in designer, I get more options. But if I click on my title, I only have one option, which is designer. So make sure you click my title and then you go into your designer. Now normally what I'll do is when it loads, I'll kind of double click everything here and get it all loading. So that's all highlighted. And then I'll go over here on the left and I'll pick the font I want so that way it's changing the whole thing. Here's what I'll do. So let's pick this one. And then I simply double click in the box. And on my keyboard I'll hit home and then just hit delete. And then I can type whatever I want. Enter to bring it down a line. And now I've got my text. Now, you can also go into effect or motion and really play around with this a little bit more and really get pretty fancy. Or you could move it around to where you want. When you're done doing whatever you're going to do, and like I said, there are a ton of options here you can play with. Hit OK. So now I've got my intro video basically. So then I need a video to put on there. And I click the, the uh, media room, the desk you see up there in the top left. And obviously color board is where we originally left off, so that's where it is. We're going to need to click on media content to find our video. Because that's the place it's in. When we have that, grab that down. And uh, just simply, again, there's the blue line. And attach it to the black one, to your color board. And you'll see that we'll just play it along. And then when it ends up happening, it goes right into the video. Now you may want to turn around and even get a little bit fancy and click on the lightning bolt and enter the transition room. And then actually find a transition you like to go from that colored screen into your video. Which would probably give it a little bit more pizzazz. Like I'll grab the Zolve for example, but I'm going to stretch this way out. So you can see this better. So I'll grab Dissolve from the transition room, bring that down, and put it over top. And you'll see how it's got highlights around it. And I, I can, you know, I can put it in front of it, I can put it behind it, or I can put it right across the two of them, which is usually normally what I do. Release your mouse button, and now you got a quick transition. So we can actually now play. We see our text. 
and boom, our transition kicks in, and then our video starts to come into play. Gives it a little bit more fanciness, and it's kind of cool. But mess with your color boards, because you can really get pretty fancy with color boards. And if you wanted to, and what I'm going to do to show you this is, let's say I want two colored um, color boards to get a little bit more fancy. I'm going to move this down one. So this is like on the third line. You see that? Then I'm going to bring myself in another color board. And let's say I want, let's go red. So I'm going to bring that down to my second line. So now I've got two color boards and my text. And I'm going to stretch that out. Okay. And again, we have to click on the color board we want to edit. Okay, see that? Or we can double click. So we go into the PIP Designer, or you can double click on the color board. And then I can grab this and kind of bring it to, see how it's all messed up there? That's not what I want. I want to maintain aspect ratio turned off, and then I want to bring that color board all the way down. So get it about halfway point. Hit OK. And now I've got a video with part red, part black. Now if you want, you can even put images in here and do this too and stretch out your images if you're just not getting what you want with the color boards. But that's a little fancy. You know, you could have, for example, your text at the top, text at the bottom, then you could bring into your video. You could add a transition, add some keyframes. I mean, you can get pretty fancy here, but just playing around with your color boards and playing around with um, your text, you can really make some really cool intros too. And that's how you will add your background color by using color boards and add some text to it and then bring it into your video. Let me know if you got any other questions, and I'll catch you on the next one.